Okay, guys, uh, nothing too mind blowing here, but I just thought why I was doing some break in on this 81 Honda CB900 uh, with the fresh top end. I just take you through one of my cycles. Uh, it's like I say, nothing mind blowing. I just thought I'd show you, and soon I'll have an assistant and they'll film me and you can watch me do all this. Even though I'm trying to bring this thing up to temperature, I already I go ahead and kick the fan on. I don't want it to overheat, you know. But uh, anyway, without further ado, got the choke part the way out, and that also holds my RPMs up. And then after I start it, I always put a little more gas in here. Okay. Bear with me, then I'll bring the RPMs up. out also helps it to keep running rich and that's what you want when you're breaking in an engine when you're fresh rebuild you don't want to leave it out So uh, this is towards the end of the initial break-in. What I've been doing for the past couple hours while I'm cleaning up my mess <laughs> is uh, at first I just run it right off of idle, you know, just a little bit above idle and then shut it off and then do that again. I do that about three or four times. Then I'll do it a little above idle and then I'll take the RPMs up and down and then gradually... I get increase the RPMs to what you've seen there, like around 3,000. And then, that's about cycle five to seven. And then what I start doing at that point is, uh, then I do what you just saw there. I start holding, holding it uh, open for a good while and get a lot of heat in the engine. And then I'll steadily increase those RPMs and hold it open until uh, I get the, uh, Rings broke in real well. So that's what I'm doing right now, breaking in the rings. So far, so good. Uh, it's sounding really good. I got no leaks. Uh, the one little spot of oil you see there is when I had those oil lines hanging down, when I had the engine out, and they dripped there a little bit. But, uh, yeah, so far, so good. No noises, no leaks. I do get an exhaust leak up here. What I usually do is uh, I get them hot, and then I snug them up when they're hot. Um, but I notice one of them, I hear it every once in a while, it starts leaking a little bit. So, uh, you know, that's just part of the process. Everything's running really smooth. Everything's going well. It hasn't blown up and oil hasn't gushed out. So I'm going to call that a success. Uh, can't wait to get it all together and test ride it. But uh, just like I said yesterday, uh, we had all kinds of ice and snow and stuff. It's nasty out there. So, oh well, we'll get to ride it. I hope sometime this week <laughs> clears up. Definitely need to test ride it. All right, guys. Once again, thanks for coming along for the ride. Dragon says, peace out.